Today I'm going to show you how to catch a rat. And today we're going to be using one of these T-Rex trappers. In my opinion, one of the best rat traps on the market. Alright, I'm going to show you first how it works. This is how it works. It has a little teeth there. It might be plastic, but trust me, these things snap really, really hard. I've got my hand caught in one of them, and it made me bleed for quite some time, too. So, believe it or not, when handling these things, be really careful because they snap really hard. So, first I'm going to show you how it works. You see the bait on the inside. Alright, I'm going to open it up for you. So, underneath, there's a little knob here. You twist it. You pull it out. Put your bait here in that little hole there. Don't overflow the bait because rats are really smart. They'll lick around it without even setting off the trap. So you don't want to put too much bait. Just want to put a little bit, whatever you use, cheese, peanut butter, beef, whatever your rats like. Put a little bit in there. Insert it back in here. Twist it. You never refill the bait from the inside because that's how you get your finger snapped. Lock it. And today I'm going to use a piece of meat. I already put the bait in there. I just kind of rigged it up. You can do what you want. Have a little fun with it. Experiment. Whatever you think rats like, you can put it in there. Alright. So. Let's show you how it works here. So the rat comes along. Do, 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 do. Ooh, meat. And they press down on that little lever right here. And there it goes. Ah. That's how that works. This little lever right here gets pushed down. And it snaps. See how sensitive that can be? That's why I said you never want to stick your finger in there to refill the bait because you make a mistake and push down on that lever and whoops, there's your finger. It's not going to cut it off, of course, but it's going to hurt like crazy. So, all right, today I got a rat and we're going to catch him. All right, I want to show you all how this works and how good it works. There's the rat. Yeah. Here's the trap. All right, so you might look at this rat and say, oh, it's so cute. They're not cute, all right? They can do a lot of damage to your home. They carry diseases. The last thing you need is rat poop around you, your kids, your family, your pets. These things carry diseases. They're not safe. So don't look at it and say, oh, it's so cute. It's a little cute little mouse. No, it's not a mouse. It's a rat. All right? They are not cute. All right. So I'm just going to show you this as an example. Is he just going to go there without me making him? Come on. Get in there, buddy. Get in there, buddy. See how long this takes. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. He's jumping all over it, but he's not going inside of it. Go in there. Go in there. There you go. Get the meat. He's going to try to jump out. I need him to go inside, but he wants to climb over the top of it. 
to get out. Got him. See? So, sometimes you don't get the head and you get the body. But now, if we were in the dark and he was hungry and he wasn't caged in, he would have went head first into the trap to get the meat, but instead he was trying to use the trap to jump out of the cage, stepped on the lever, and got caught. So, another thing, if they're just passing by the trap and they don't go in, this works also, then at least, hey, you still caught them. And all you gotta do now is just come by and pick up the trap and get rid of them. Poor guy. Not really. Alright, and that is how you catch a rat with a T-Rex rat trapper.